Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, and to your point, you know, the fact that everything is shut down except for WWE, AEW, and UFC. Dana White is desperately still trying to put on UFC 249. Uh, Khabib uh, Nurmagomedov came out and basically said he's not doing it. Uh, he, he is t- tied down in Russia, but then he issued <clears throat> another statement saying, you know, with everything going on in the world, you know, uh, basically saying he's not doing it. It's it's jacked. And uh, to continue putting on shows, uh, right now they had been doing it in Florida, uh, AEW and WWE both. Now both of those are shut down uh, for the next couple of weeks. But as we're seeing with everything going on right now, President Trump is uh, – Basically, basically saying, uh, advising everyone to shut down until April 30th. 30 days, yeah. Yeah, Georgia only did it for the next week and a half, I believe. I think till April 11th, but I'm sure that's going to change. Yes, AEW has been taping at Georgia this week. Apparently, uh, f- from what we've heard from our sources, is that they have enough content to possibly get them through mid-May, so like the next month. Um, but... Again, that kind of wrestling, the wrestling with no crowd, it's you're losing, you know, some of your fan base every week. Yeah, and I don't know, I know they I saw that too where they they did their tapings and got a bunch of stuff done and government officials have stepped in and, and again don't know the details of any of it. It's no. <clears throat> um I don't I don't like it. I don't I just don't think it needs to be going on right now. And I get mm-hmm. what and it, it, this is tough. Like there's so many businesses all around the world losing out right now. People everything it is it's a it's a horrible situation but at the same time it, it's it's not like you have a business where you could for sure get it done and get that everything you need to get done and not put anybody at risk they're doing the complete opposite mm-hmm. yeah. this is where i want it and i and i and i and say this for both wwe and aew if they if they had and not, neither of them have come out and said this because they don't have it if they had coronavirus testing covid 19 testing where every time every performer was tested before they go ahead and, and get involved in that, then I could say, you know what? As much risk as you are putting them in still for traveling and making them go out and stuff, at least though you're taking the precaution of not spreading it if they show up and QT Marshall has it and then it, and, they, and nobody else does and they take the appropriate measures and, 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 and isolate him and they, they do their business and at least then you're taking steps. I'm not hearing that being done. In right. WWE, and they've done, made other comments, they're, they, well, there's, they're, they're taking temperatures, but we all know that you could be asymptomatic and not have any, any symptoms or your temperature could be fine, and those right. are the people spreading it. So yeah. why this, that's what bothers me. And I know, what, and I, know I just, there, there's some really shady stuff going on with all of it, so. Do you hear the governor of Georgia? He said, yeah. when he shut everything, he, he was not aware that uh, people that were asymptomatic could spread it, even though it's been like out in the news everywhere for the last month. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. You, you had mentioned, uh, yeah, we wrestling, we first reported about the uh, Georgia officials stopping by the AW, AEW tapings on Thursday. Um, they showed their paperwork and, and Tony Khan contacted us. Said, he said it was a, a routine thing where a, a Georgia code enforcement official stopped by to make sure that everything was up to code. But this is one of those things where the, these companies are trying to do whatever they can to, you know, uh, to tow that line, to get away with it. Yeah. These things are there for a reason. And when people say, oh, we shouldn't quarantine this area because it hasn't affected them yet that much. Well, that's exactly why you should do it now, because you see what's happening in New York and and everywhere else where if you don't catch it early, it becomes a huge problem and the hospitals are overridden. And that's my problem with this is why it's it's selfishness. And I don't Mm -hmm. like and it's they're like, well, we can we just get by, get through it. What happens is, and the pattern's the same everywhere. Once those numbers start taking off, and they, and they, it, it start, it, it's, it's just unfolding at different levels. New York just so happened to get hit with it the hardest first because of probably the amount of international travel they have there, right. being a, a major hotspot hub for all that. But in Cali as well, in which we're seeing in those two ends of the opposite ends of the country, and it's, it's like, well, we, if we can just get what we need done, and then we can. This thing isn't like. If these numbers, there's a really realistic possibility that the 30 days that they're given, there's going to be another 30 tacked on because the 30 days we're going to still see the numbers climbing. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping it reverses, but every area is different. And if you got, you know, Georgia's just now hopping on the board of what everyone else has been doing two weeks ago, they're two weeks behind. 
Right. And so when everything maybe starts, when New York starts reversing, maybe Georgia's just hitting its peak. Or Georgia's starting, it just has two more weeks to go before it hits its peak, or three weeks, who knows? And it's because of actions like that, and then... I get it from a business. You don't want to. You don't want to give the upper hand to anyone. And WWE not backing down. If they did, I'm sure AEW probably maybe would have matched it. Maybe they wanted to have. I don't know. It, it's just mad. I, I just can't stress this enough that pro wrestling needs help with the wrestlers and for all the talent. It, it's you can't. They can't protect themselves, and they have. They have no. Um, just they. They have no. There's nothing in place for them to really truly speak up and have protection and i don't like it hey guys it's the big guy ryback back and i just want to say thank you very much for watching go ahead and punch that like smash that subscribe button and check out my all natural my all natural supplement line supplement supplement stupid my all natural supplement line feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more.